with buses here in Maine are going green. Yeah, Biddeford, Saco, Old Orchard Beach Transit, BISOB, has been awarded $2 million <laughs> from the federal government to buy zero emission buses. I've just renamed them. New Center Maine's Hannah Yashivi joining us live from the Transit Center in Biddeford with all of the details. Hey, Hannah. Hey, good morning, Lee and Sharon. The Transit Center here will introduce two more electric buses to its fleet. I'm in one of the electric buses that's already being used on the streets of Saco, Biddeford, and Old Orchard Beach. The goal is to slowly but surely change all of the old diesel buses into electric ones. It's a goal Greater Portland Metro is also working towards. Here in Biddeford, the buses are charged overnight and the battery lasts for about 200 miles, which basically allows them to be on the road from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. before they need a recharge. Chad Hyde, who works for the transit center here, says these electric buses are quiet, don't have diesel exhaust emissions, they're reliable and, of course, sustainable. That's really important for uh, a number of reasons. Uh, we want to make sure that our fleet is in a state of good repair. So that means maintaining f a fleet that is contemporary and able to be reliable for our riders on an everyday basis. It's also really important to align with the state of Maine's uh, Maine Won't Wait Climate Action Plan, which has been invoked by the current administration, as well as aligning with uh, the current federal administration's goal to have zero emission buses across the country by 2050. The two new electric buses will be here in Maine in two years, but in the meantime, they have these two electric buses and the drivers who drive them tell me they're working very well. Live in Biddeford, Hannah Yashivi, the Center Maine.